on virtual abilities island and uh, gentle heaven has just in invited us to uh, take a nice tour in the uh, balloon as you can see we're uh, flying up in the air the buildings below us there to the right oh, I'm returning virtual ability uh, is the name of the sim uh, we're on and uh, basically it's a, a, a focal point for um, um, those with uh, visual and hearing impairments and things like that um, not only for them but also to increase awareness of their needs etc and um, they produce things like the uh, virtual guide dog for the blind and they have a system uh, on Microsoft systems anyway that um, plugs into Second Life that um, converts uh, text to voice uh, which of course also helps um, uh, visually impaired people to uh, listen to conversations that are actually only in chat set to follow another avatar so once you've clicked on it the, the other avatar does the walking for you and um, your avatar just follows behind so obviously somebody who's visually impaired may not see or only see part of what's going on but in conversational terms or whatever they can you know literally follow uh, uh, the group automated kind of process a bit like this balloon really where we're sort of uh, flying around and um, enjoying ourselves. I always love rocks and waterfalls and oh well there's some lovely rocks and waterfalls around here too. Oddly enough the uh, the tools that uh, Virtual Busy have come up with are actually very useful over and beyond the, um, uh, the um, some, uh, slightly impaired people or whatever. I mean the um, the ones that allows you to follow another avatar is very useful for other people too. I mean, if you've got lag and you're sort of falling way behind the crowd of people, you simply set the one to follow another avatar, a bit like the opt-click business when you're doing camera work, and um, it offsets you from them slightly, and then you follow them around and accompany them. Sort of polite way of holding hands, really. Uh, you probably remember Quenio from our London SL London sessions on the show. It's a very picturesque island too, um, in a nice lush greenery and uh, very exotic looking trees and things. And there's some wildly coloured things here and there which really provide quite a contrast to it. So it's a very welcoming environment which um, of course is Obviously what it's meant to be, but um, it works. Mm -hmm. 